Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, welcome to my lesson on using gradients in Flash. You can see that I've got an effect to fill in the middle of my stage here. And at the moment, it's blue. If we go over to our color panel here, you can see I've got solid color selected and blue. And I've got no stroke at the moment, and we're going to leave it like that. So if I click on this solid color here, I get some more options. I could have no fill, solid color like I've got at the moment. And I've got these two options, linear gradient and radial gradient. So let's check those out. I'm going to click on linear gradient, and you can see that my fill has changed. It's now a gradient from black to white. And I'm getting these options up here in my color panel. It's really important when you're editing a gradient that you've clicked on the object that you want to apply the gradient to. Um, down here, I can control the color of my gradient. At the moment, I've got black and white. So if I changed the black to green, I'll be reflected in our gradient over here. And if I change the white to orange, that would be reflected. But what if I want to add uh, an extra color in the middle? You can see that I'm getting this plus sign on my cursor here. So if I click, it will create a new color for me. So I could stick some blue in the middle. And that is also reflected in my gradient. So you remember I clicked on it before I started making these changes. So they're all reflected in my fill here. And I can move this color around, I could add some more, stick a red in there, you can start getting some quite sickly looking rainbow colors. So that's a linear gradient. Let's check out radial gradients. I'm going to go up here, see where it says linear gradient. I'm going to change that to a radial gradient. Now it's kept our colors from last time, and you can see that's looking pretty trippy. It's doing exactly the same thing, it's cycling through these colors except instead of going from left to right, it's coming out from the center. So it's starting off with our green color over here, and then it's going into blue, and then red, and then right at the edge of the object, orange. So if we have this object selected, we can mess about with that, and change the colors around, and change which colors they are. So this is another way of using color in Flash that you might not have considered before. Once you've got a gradient that you're happy with, you can edit it using the Gradient Transform tool that's up here. If you hold down the left mouse button on the Free Transform tool, you will get the Gradient Transform tool. If you click on your gradient, you get these options. You can see, because I've got a radial gradient, Flash is giving me a big circle, uh, which lets me control the size and the rotation of my gradient, and also its center point. You can see if I click on this center point here, I can move the center point of my gradient around like this. I can also shrink it down like that, squidge it, or I can use this tool here. That's uniform scaling. So if I unsquidge it so that it's round again, I can use this tool to make it bigger or smaller using uniform scaling. So it keeps its shape. And this one right here, that's rotation. But given that we've got a circular shape, rotating it's not going to make much difference. We'd have to squish it down like so. to use rotation on it. You can see that's looking a bit like a galaxy or a nebula or something. If we switch back to a linear gradient, you can see that we don't get that big circle anymore uh, using the gradient transform tool. We just get rotation there. So you can see I've now got a kind of diagonal swipe across my fill. And I can squish it down. So I can make it a lot thinner. And when you squish it down, it uses the start an end color to fill in the rest of your shape. Or if you go up to flow, 
and click on one of these you can get it to reflect or repeat I'm going to stick it back on extend and just like with radials you can click on the center point and move it around like that so that's gradient and the gradient transform tool in flash try it yourself and i'll see you in the next lesson hi if you enjoyed this lesson why not consider checking out the hextuber coloring and activity book on my website hextuber.com it's suitable for kids and adults alike and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com and WH Smiths. Cheers.